Hello! Today we will be going over how to set up extended time on Blackboard for students who receive testing accommodations. Um, as always, should you have any questions regarding this video or any other t uh, questions regarding accommodations, you can always reach out to the Accessibility Services Center. Now today I've gone ahead and went to our fake Accessibility Services Center class. I'm going to go ahead and go to our area where I have created a fake exam. For this next step, you're going to go ahead and go to edit the test options. For this, you're going to have the name and content of your own examination. Um, all of these are going to go ahead and be to your own preference. So showing description, opening in a new window, these are all your preference. I have not made anything available for the sake of this being a demonstration. Multiple attempts is going to be a preference for you as well. Um, right now we do not have any specific accommodations for multiple attempts for students. However, if this is a test where you're going to be allowing multiple attempts, that would be your own consideration. Force completion, again, is going to be for your own consideration. This means that once it's started, the test has to be completed in one sitting. They can't pause and leave um, or come back to the test during the time it's open. They have to complete it while it is open. For the timer, this is going to be the most important part. Um, for tests where it is being timed for a certain amount of time, um, you're going to go ahead and set the timer based off of how long you perceive the test needing to be. Um, typically for a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, um, one class period is a test, so about 50 minutes. Auto submit is your preference as well. Um, with auto submit being on, once the time runs out, the test automatically submits, and when it's off, um, they are able to continue taking the test, which you can see if they took longer than the 50 minutes allotted. Um, this is going to be important and we'll get back to it for the display period for when you want your test to be displayed. Um, so if you want your test to be open for 12 hours and students can take it during any of those 12 hours, or if you want the test to be at a specific time, let's say during your normal testing or your normal class time, then that's where you can set this. I'm going to go ahead and remove this to show you how to do it from scratch. So. Let's go ahead and say that we do have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, which is a 50 minute class, meaning that we are going to go ahead and want our test to take 50 minutes. And we're going to go ahead and want our test to start at the actual time of our exam or of our class. So if we have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m., then we'll want the test to open at 10 and we'll want it to close by 11, giving the students their 50 minutes. A little bit of change here. Um, you can change it if you want to be specific. However, I believe you can only do it with the 30 minute increments. So we'll go ahead and go down. And now let's say we know that we have a student that receives time and a half on an examination. For a 50 minute class and a 50 minute test, that's going to be 75 minutes. So we'll go ahead and for test availability exceptions is where we will add this student's accommodations. Right here would be all the students in the class and we'll go ahead and select the student that we know is going to need accommodations. Once that student's been selected, you can go ahead and edit all of the items that we discussed above. However, for the sake of testing accommodations, you'll just want to focus on the timer and how long the student receives. So as we stated, the student gets the additional 25 minutes on top of their 50 for a total of 75 minutes. So we'll want to change that. We'll want to keep everything the same, um, the single attempt, force complete, and auto submit. If for any reason you need to change any of those, you're welcome to if you're going to be supplying multiple attempts or unlimited attempts. Now let's say, for example, you have the student um, who needs the extra time, but they have an 11 a.m. class right after their 10 a.m. class. Now they're not going to be able to receive their additional time um, because it will go into their next class. 
So we um, will have you work with the ASC and with the student to determine a better time to take the exam. We try and schedule it as close as possible to the normal time. So if they don't have any classes before yours, um, we would go ahead and ask that they maybe take the test early or we would have them take the test right after their next class. Um, like I said, we try and get it as close to that normal time as possible. So let's say for this example that the student does not have a class before the 10 a.m. class with you. So we want them to begin their extra time at 9.30. That will give them that 25 extra minutes. So we'll go ahead and scroll down here and we will have them take the test on the same day as everybody else. So the 28th. And we will have them start the test at 9.30 and then the test will close by 11 o'clock so they can make it to their next class. Save and now the student has their additional time on the timer for the test and the student also has a different access time so they can take their test at a different time. Now if you are going to have a test that's open for a longer period of time, the principal still remains. So let's say instead of having to take it at the exact time of your class, you're going to let them take it over a 12 hour period. We'll just change it so the exam can start at 8 a.m. and the students have until 8 p.m. to finish it. Now with the force complete and auto submit, they still will only have that 50 minutes once they start it. So if they start at 8, it's going to be over by 8.50. If they start it at 7, it'll be over by 7.50, etc. So you're just going to want to go ahead and as long as that student has time during that um, available window to take the exam, which they would because they could take it before their other classes, then you would actually just edit this to be the exact same as everybody else's. So they will have it from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then they would just get their 75 additional minutes. And that's how you set up the extended time for testing. Um, the program itself goes up to um, I believe 450 minutes, um, which majority of our students have time and a half or 100% um, additional time, so you shouldn't need to go beyond that. If you run into any problems with supplying your students with additional time for their accommodations, please reach out to the Accessibility Services Center and we'll be happy to help you. Due date and the assessment and result options are going to be for the professor preference, but for the rest you would just hit submit and now your student has the accommodations they need for that test.